boy, what an exciting time for this football team. Our guys have returned back to Laramie. Uh, but we're particularly proud of, of the academic achievement that they've done. In the most unconventional semester, uh, they worked hard, 3.345 GPA for the semester. That's unbelievable. And we're on track to hit 3.0 for the year, which has never been done in the history of the program. It's not by chance. Uh, our guys have had a plan in place. And in the middle of all this upheaval and changes, uh, you know, I thought our academic staff came up with a great plan, our, our coaches were engaged, our academic support people were engaged, and our players delivered. We saw what was happening in the landscape and we, Coach Bull and I sat down and we had a plan and we executed that plan and to order to execute that plan we had had buy-in from the players, from the coaches, from our staff, and everything came together. Um, you know, that's really a testament to Coach Bull and his vision and his assistant coaches really seeing that through. Well, you know what, we set out several years ago, we developed what's called the Wyoming Profile, and it really comes down to two elements. Uh, for guys to have a laser-like focus on getting a meaningful degree from a great uh, land-grant research institution, the University of Wyoming, a flagship school, and then also achieving on the football field. And our goal, our ultimate goal, is to win the Mountain West Conference Championship. And everything falls through after that. And so we've been very intentional about our commitment to education. So in the recruiting process, we let them know how much we value education. And you know what? These numbers are backing that up. We have over 30 majors on the team, ranging from physiology, petroleum engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, American studies. We have a couple of kids in grad school. So it's, um, they're doing real work. They're, they're busting their butt on the field and in the classroom. And these results are, are just a product of how hard they're working. You know, I always joke with recruits, the OAS is between food and football. And so we're positioned in a great location for students to come in, get the help, get tutoring. We have a fantastic team. Monique Holt, myself, uh, Laura Clayton all worked with students this semester, football specifically. And, um, you know, without the support from administration, the coaches, all the way down, none of this would be possible. And then also we want to say thanks to our faculty. I mean, we have an outstanding faculty who's engaged that I know there's research that's important, but we feel like our faculty is really engaged with these young men to teach them. You know, young men, uh, if, they're, if they're focused and they want high achievement, uh, you just can't have part of your life be in phase and the other part be out of phase. And so I think as each year has gone through, our guys have been uh, bought in. And we're developing um, winners in the classroom, we're developing winners on the football field, and we're developing winners in life.